Hey friends, welcome back to the channel with another movie reaction. Today we are watching Disney's Enchanted. I was actually at a party in high school and some people were watching this film, but I missed the beginning, so I just decided to play some games with some other people there. But I did think I saw Patrick Dempsey and Amy Adams, and I just totally forgot about this movie's existence until I saw that the sequel is coming to Disney Plus later in 2022. So let's check this out and then we can watch the sequel together when it comes out later this year. Uh, full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, it really helps out the channel, and let's get started. Oh, we're going inside the castle? I've never actually thought about what the inside of the castle looks like. There lived an evil queen. Selfish, Selfish and, and cruel. cruel. She did all in her power to prevent the prince from ever meeting the one special maiden with whom he would share true love's kiss. I thought this was a live action movie. Thank you. And these for the eyes? Blue. Oh, how did you know? My one true love. My prince. Oh, oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa, what? What's the problem? Hmm. I didn't give him any lips. Ooh. How will you kiss? You have to have lips. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. And a prince I'm hoping comes with this. Just find who you <laughs> oh no, oh come on. Tenth troll this month. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I love hunting trolls. <laughs> I've been dreaming of the trolls. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you hear that, Nathaniel? Me? No, no, I hear nothing. Nothing at all, Your Highness. Oh, no, He's been no, ordered by the Queen no, to right. keep him away. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. I, 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 what? I eat you now. Well, I gotta lay off the nuts. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh oh. Wow, really? The squirrel was that heavy? Oh, Giselle! We shall be married in the morning. Really? Oh my god. To finish your duet. Oh. So this is the little forest rat who thinks she can steal my throne. Whoa. Her voice sounds familiar. Is she gonna push her in? Oh boy. Where did you send her? To a place where there are no happily ever afters. Oh. Straight to hell with you. <laughs> oh, now it's live action. Oh, okay. I was like, did I remember the wrong film? She sent her someplace with no. Happy endings, no happily ever afters, the real world. That's so sad. Manhole cover? Oh, New York City. Times Square. AOL.com? Oh boy, this movie's old. Out of the street! Oh. 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 Hey, watch it, will you? Grumpy! Jeez, lady, are you for real? Oh my god. I, I think so, Princess. I guess we're going on the subway. Okay, it's not this crowded in New York City. <laughs> where you can't decide where to go and just get moved around. May I sit with you? <laughs> he did not say yes. Uh, you have a lovely smile. Oh. oh! Where are you going? That's <laughs> you are not a very nice old man! Oh no. Hank is coming with me. Wait a minute, Hank's 
Excuse me, guys. I'm getting confused here. Who's Hank? Hank Aaron. Milwaukee Braves. Oh. His 1954 rookie card. A baseball card? Uh -huh. So after a whole day of that, you still want to get engaged? Oh, please. Those people got married on a crazy romantic whim. It's not like that with Nancy and I. Have you told your daughter yet? No, I haven't. With yet. news like this, I hope you got her a Shetland pony. No. <laughs> Something much better than that. Better than a pony? Impossible. What? Oh. A book? A book. Oh, come on. Yeah, hi. It's Nancy. I'm going to ask her to marry me. What? Yeah, you like her, don't you? Do I have to give up my bedroom? No, no. you don't have to give up your bedroom. No. <laughs> Stuck out in the rain. Ah, uh, Palace Casino. <laughs> Why is there a princess on the castle billboard? It's an advertisement. It's a mannequin. Hello. No, it's not. She's really here. No, she's not. What are you doing? Get oh, 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 oh. Lady. Oh, hello. I was wondering if maybe you could. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh boy. I was looking for some help. You see, I've been wandering very far and long tonight. I'm afraid nobody's been very nice to me. Yeah, well, welcome to New York. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Are you sure you're all right? Now here I am with you. Is this a big habit of yours, falling off stuff? Well, <laughs> usually someone catches me. But not to worry. I'm certain that Edward is already searching for me. No doubt by morning he'll come and rescue me from this strange land. In New Take York? All I can really do is let you in for a minute. Oh. Dry off, use the phone if you want to. We have our own bedtime to stick to. Let's go. That's very kind of you. So much fluff. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why don't we see about getting you a car? Are you really a princess? Not yet. But oh, I will be soon. And she's asleep. She's a seriously confused woman who's fallen into our laps. So we're not gonna let her stay? No. I mean, he's already gone above and beyond. Letting a stranger into your own home is... But he's gonna let her stay. Fear not to tell! Oh. Rescue you! <laughs> who's gonna rescue me? <laughs> Why'd you come to then? Alright, let's close it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> this man party to this evil plot, Chipmunk? Can I speak? Yeah? <laughs> uh oh. Come along, Pip. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> well? Is this just how he leaves it? <laughs> Is that gonna work here? Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Um, uh, I guess I never thought about how disgusting this could be when it happens in like animated movies. Oh, and pigeons down. Oh my god. Hi, Vermin. Merry little voices, clearly. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh. Oh no. Oh. 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 Freaking cockroaches. Wow. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. Oh my god! That's too thoughtful of you. Pigeons carrying oh, I the towel for her. Dreams. I think I'm still in one. <laughs> magical room. Hey girlfriend. Hi, Nancy. What do you say? You ready to kick it? Honey, why do you still have your PJs on? It's been pretty busy around here. She's gonna get the wrong idea, isn't she? My friends will do that. Oh! Oh, that's not what you want to see. She 
she was lost. I was just trying to help her. With what? Finding the shower? Oh, the shower. Oh, the shower is please. wonderful, just Nancy. Please. You're not helping. Thank you very much, okay? Just... How I never stay the night because we both agreed Morgan's here and you have to maintain some Wow. Boundaries. And I thought, I'm so lucky. He's sensitive. I didn't realize you were worried about crowd control. Okay, oh. so we'll talk later. Goodbye. Uh. Get dressed, please, for school. Just please. <laughs> Wow. Don't get run over, please. Oh god. Where'd you get that? I made it. Do you like it? Oh, you are unhappy. I am so sorry. Oh, I'm not unhappy. I'm angry. Angry? Yes, it's angry. an unpleasant emotion. Have you ever heard of it? <laughs> no. Oh, I have heard of it. Okay. You have I created a oh, man. unnecessary a proposal, actually. Oh! Well, now she's got it in her mind that you and I kissed? Yeah, something like that. You should sing to her. Oh my she god. Pour your heart out in a beautiful ballad. And then she'll This is so ridiculous. Sure. I do wish there was someone who cared enough for me to go after him. You're sending him to oh, I do anything for him. You're being yeah, manipulated. <laughs> People keep popping up from this manhole. Oh, there he is. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! You get down here right now! Come along, Daniel, old friend! Don't drink that, okay? I have a critically important meeting. Sam is gonna get you home. Sam, yes. this is Giselle. Giselle, this is Sam. Hi. Be careful. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. You're special, aren't you? Why are we here? Oh, she's looking for her. Oh. Whoa. Poison apples, my lady. One small bite to drag her down into a deep and troubled sleep. And when Ooh. the hands of the clock turns from animated into a real precious little Columbus circle. Imagine <laughs> Hello. Nathaniel? Nathaniel's glad to have me near. <laughs> oh, 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 I know this. Uh, no, you don't. Apple? No, thank you. It's good. <laughs> Oh, you don't touch. Are you causing trouble? Very lucky. I mean, just look at the way her eyes sparkle. It's no wonder you're in love. Separating from each other, okay? Separating? Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Don't. How long? Forever. Forever and ever? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Don't cry. Don't <laughs> cry. If you guys are trying to manipulate us, you can throw this whole deal out. What is going uh. on here? Those people are in real pain. Well, of course they're in pain. They're separated forever. They're married one day and the next they're not. What sort of awful place this is? <laughs> <laughs> really, really close. Oh, there, there they are. Fight him! Fight him! Look, sir! Over there! That wasn't her. Oh, he purposely, yeah. Just here, here's some money. Robert? Just go. You've been a very kind friend to me when I had none, and I would never want to make you unhappy or cause you any trouble, so... Uh, I'll go. That's sincerity. Uh, she doesn't know what to do with money. <laughs> he was here. So how long have you two been together? Oh, a day? A day. <laughs> you mean it feels like a day because you're so in love. No, it's been a day. <laughs> How long have you known your Nancy? Uh, years. Five years. And you haven't proposed? Well, no. Well, no wonder she's angry. Well, hello, nice lady. Uh, you want the juicy, sweet caramel apple, maybe? Caramel apple. A date. Date. Yeah. Date. You, know, you go someplace special, you know, like a restaurant, or a movie, or museum, or you just hang out and you talk. You have such strange ideas about love. <laughs> you should do what you would do. 
You meet, you have lunch, and you get married. You forgot about happily ever after. No, forget about happily ever after. It doesn't exist. Well, of course it does. Oh. 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 You really love her? We just don't talk about it every minute of the day, but she knows. How? What do you mean, how? How? How does she oh. know? <laughs> just launch into a song. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I think that's the first place I told someone I love them. <laughs> He's so fed up. Giselle! <laughs> Oh god. I've been dreaming. Take these flowers to Nancy, please. What are you crazy? They're birds. They don't know where she lives. I think they they know. <laughs> He's getting into it. Send those email cards with the digital flowers. Yeah. Oh no. Exquisite. Oh, we're going to a ball? Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. Are you kidding me? It's so romantic. So spontaneous. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Aww. Good. This is so unlike you. <laughs> and she likes it. Oh. TV. What is going on there? I don't need self respect. I just need your lips against mine. Wait, sir. Go back, go back. That's Please. his relationship with the queen. How could I love a man who doesn't even like himself? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Do you like yourself? What's not to like? <laughs> it's a strong ass chipmunk. He's like, this prince is no use. I'm going to go get him myself. Oh, well, there we go. All right, last time. There you go. There it is. And look. <gasps> You're a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating dinner. Yeah. Is this a date? This is a date. Yeah. No, no. Morgan's a lovely girl. Does she miss her terribly? Miss who? Her mother. She left. I'm so sorry for you both. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. It's her I worry about, though. And he became more She's guarded. Shy. I didn't have very many friends. I just wanted to be strong, you know? To be able to face the world for what it is. You know what'll so fix that? The fairy tales. A song! Gonna... Maybe something wonderful will happen. Yeah, Maybe. Well, I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> I hope you don't forget. Oh god, Apple Martini? <laughs> Chipmunk! Destroying <laughs> <laughs> off her face! <laughs> In the pizza. Oh no. <laughs> I think he let go. Uh, oh no. Really? You're clapping for that? Oh no. It's not villainy. He's helping. <laughs> Just rush his head first. Oh boy. <laughs> He's so comical. No! <laughs> How did I wind up back here again? It's a random door. You're too late. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> You're too late. <sighs> this triumphant music. If he doesn't. Why do you keep saying that? Because I deal with this every day. Oh man. He is coming. No. 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 Is that the only word that you know? No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, I mean no. Oh, it just it makes me so. Oh, sometimes. Angry. Angry. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm angry. Full range of emotions. 
<laughs> oh, oh. What are both of you doing? Okay. That was a spark. Edward is just what you wanted. What you thought you wanted. You don't even know him. Oh my. Oh, the song. The melody. Aww. Haha. <laughs> Another dress. Do you want to make one for... Morning. Morning. Little girl? Nice dress. Thank you. It is I, Prince Edward of Andalasia. Come to rescue... Wow. Edward! Please don't attack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you any last words before I dispatch you? You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Oh. This um. is Morgan. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. <laughs> he sings too. <laughs> and a miss I have begun. <laughs> made I've never met. Who was made? To finish my duet. To finish. Before we leave, there's one thing I would love to do. Oh, Go on a date? My... A date? What is that? What's a date? <laughs> Good luck on your day. And you, with Nancy. Five-year relationship's gonna go down the drain. It's so nice spending time with you. Aww. Aww. Thank you for taking care of my bride, peasants. Peasants! <laughs> peasants! <laughs> oh my god. I will kill oh the boy. little wretch myself! I was just thinking about what that girl said about BB what? Eyes sparkling. What? I what? Mean, it's the first thing I noticed when we met. Date. How is this date going? <laughs> How did you like your hot dog? How did they pay for the hot dog? Well, it's not really a dog. It's actually pig. Quite excellent. Back to Andalasia, of course. To be married. To live happily ever after, forever and ever. Who? We could go to the museum. Or to the theater. Or there's this ball. A ball? Ah, uh, the ball. I'm going to the ball, and I'm not sure what to do, or what I should wear, and I don't even know where to find a fairy godmother at this late hour. <laughs> something better than a fairy godmother. Your dad's credit card? Daddy says it's only for emergencies. Oh my god! <laughs> it's definitely an emergency. Uh. Boys get the wrong idea, and you know how they are. No. They're only after one thing. What's that? I don't know. Nothing <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Edward has a stepmother. Uh -huh. I've never met her, but I hear she's just lovely. <laughs> oh! Susan Sarandon. Oh. I'd like to ask each gentleman to invite the lady he did not accompany this evening to dance. May I have the pleasure? What if those two wind up together? Because these two, <laughs> you definitely feel the chemistry here. Oh, they're both looking. The spotlight's on her. <laughs> it's like the rest of the world stopped existing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nope. Not feeling it. To never be with the one you love. Doomed to be with another. I can make all those bad memories disappear. Oh wow. Just one bite of my love. You're still gonna try to kill her? The magic will not work unless you take a bite uh. before the clock strikes 12. No! She's fine. She's Someone help fine. me, please! Come on, Really go back to your party. She's fine. She's fine. True love's kiss. True love's kiss. She fainted, but no, she, did she didn't. Ooh. Take my crown. Don't you think that's a bit melodramatic, dear? 
I don't know what melodramatic means. <laughs> but you'll be removed from the throne. Do they all think this is theater? Everybody who's watching? Just, what do we do? There's no way of helping her. She's done for. True love's kiss. Go, go, go. And he thinks it's Edward. True love's kiss. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> He's like, out of the way. <laughs> He's like, oh. Uh, I knew that. Nope. It's not working! <laughs> Midnight. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Don't you I see? I barely know her. I've only known her for a few days. It has to be. Sir Robert. Aww. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> the most powerful thing in the world. She's not a threat anymore! I don't think so. Well, actually, I mean. <laughs> Your no stepson is the threat. Whoa. Oh, all this nauseating talk of true love's kiss. Let's begin with the girl who started it all, shall we? Over my dead body. That can be arranged. Right. I'm flexible. Oh, man. Come along, Giselle. Ice is a twist on our story. It's the brave little princess coming to the rescue. I guess that makes you the damsel in distress, huh, man? Ah, <laughs> uh, let him out. We'd like to finally be released. Finally understood him. Oh, he's so heavy. He's so heavy. <laughs> Whoa! That is some freaking aim. Are you kidding me? Can't you fly? Are you not a drag? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Is this a habit of yours? Falling off of stuff? Only when you're around to catch me. Aww. Huh. Wasn't he just lambasting her for like falling in love after a day? Aww. <laughs> really? Oh wow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you get reception here? <laughs> wow, really good reception here. <laughs> uh, don't need it anymore. Ooh, technology. Aw, I'm glad they had a happy ending. She became a fashion designer? Oh. He became an author? Wow. <laughs> Is that Pumba? That's freaking Pumba. Uh, the troll has a copy. They all lived happily ever after. Wow. <laughs> that was something else. Okay, I really enjoyed this movie. It was hilarious. The music was fantastic. I've got some of the songs still stuck in my head and I watched this a couple weeks ago at this point. Uh, the movie was very romantic and I'm a huge sap, so I'm definitely the target audience here. And the performances were really, really great as well. Amy Adams playing this woman from another realm who has no sense of what her world is like. She was really entertaining. I had previously only seen her in serious roles, Arrival and some DC films as Lois Lane. And I'm a much bigger fan of her acting after this movie. James Marsden too. I really liked him in Sonic the Hedgehog and Westworld, but he's just so over the top in this film and it's great. And then Patrick Dempsey and Adina Menzel were really good too. Of course, their roles were much more grounded though. And I really enjoyed the 2D animation mixed with live action. They really nailed Queen Narissa's animation though. She looked so much like Susan Sarandon and... Of course, her lackey Peter Pettigrew was around too, and his contentious relationship with Pip the Squirrel was a lot of fun. And the way this movie worked out was super interesting to me, because Giselle and Robert couldn't have been more different from each other at the start of the movie. She was so much about love, to the point where she was going to marry Edward after just meeting him. And Robert was thinking only about practicality because he'd been bur burned before so badly, and he wanted to protect his daughter at all costs. But Giselle and Robert wound up rubbing off on each other quite a lot, 
Uh, Robert embraces the magic of love, and Giselle falls more deeply in love. It's not just the idea of love, but actually knowing someone and loving them, which is much, much nicer. And then on the other hand, Edward and Nancy wind up together so easily. They meet and get married on the same day. Nancy abandons her entire life to live in a fairy tale, an actual fairy tale. And they barely know each other either, but it also somehow feels like it's going to work. So these two couples take two very different approaches. And in the end, who's to say who's right and who's wrong as long as you're happy? Though I don't know how compatible uh, Nancy and Edward are in the end. Uh, but the ending was so interesting because I guess it is a Disney fairy tale, so I guess I should have expected a dragon and an epic battle to end the movie, but I don't know. Uh, I do like the trope subversion with Giselle saving Robert, though, for sure. And there was that moment when Giselle first arrived in New York City when she got a little person stuck under her wedding gown and she thought it was grumpy. Oh, damn. It does feel authentic to the way Giselle would react in that moment, but it also does feel like it was the movie was trying for a cheap laugh. And little people generally do not like being called dwarf, so yikes. But now I can touch on the things I loved most about this movie because it was full of moments that were really, really fantastic. You were made to finish your duets. It was such a sweet sentiment, but then later when they're in New York and Edward sings his half of the verse and she doesn't finish it, that was so compelling, so, so good. And speaking of the songs, they were really catchy as well. And when it was in Andalasia, it was very typical, like, fairy tale fair. But then to have these songs happen in the real world, in New York City as well. I always love a movie when they feature my city. I love my city. Uh, side note, I find it really funny that Queen Narissa was like, I'm gonna send you somewhere where there are no happily ever afters. And they freaking showed New York City of all places. Um, but she was wrong about that, so. Or, or was she? Because there was a sequel coming up called Disenchanted. Are they getting a divorce? I hope not. But anyway, my point was that the songs in the real world turned into something entirely new because the cleaning of the apartment with all those rats, pigeons, cockroaches, I mean, I don't know if I trust them to sanitize things. That was a really, really disgusting yet sweet song at the same time. <laughs> and then the song in the park, uh, I feel like Robert should have been even more freaked out than he was because everybody just happens to know the song and joins in. What is that? Uh, I also love the fact that Giselle had a problem detecting tones sometimes. She said no one has ever been nice to her since she arrived and Robert was like, yeah, welcome to New York. And she doesn't pick up on the sarcasm at all and thinks he's being 100% earnest. Uh, I guess nobody speaks sarcasm in Andalasia. And her ideas of problem solving, after Nancy saw her half naked out of the shower on top of Robert, she says, Robert should sing to Nancy to say sorry. And wow, if, if, if it were only that easy. And Edward talking to the TV as if it was a magic mirror as well, that was really funny too. Uh, but the building of this romantic tension between Giselle and Robert is done really, really well. He lambasts her for falling in love and almost getting married after just a day, but then he winds up falling in love with her after just a few days as well. And he tries to tell her that Edward isn't coming for her and she gets angry, and it's the first time she's ever felt that way. She makes her He makes her feel feelings that she's never felt before, feelings based on reality and not just the fantasy in her mind, so it's a definitely a very, very good fit. And they fall more and more in love, even though they have somebody they're already supposed to be with. Uh, love the idea that you should follow your heart and not go for someone that society approved or reality approved. Or based on a preconception of who you should be with. I uh, love that moment where Robert is the one who realizes that Giselle needs true love's kiss to be revived. And Edward tries so desperately to make it work. But oh, as much as Nancy and Edward were compelling characters before this scene... This moment where they both step aside and urge Robert to kiss Giselle, that endeared them both so much more to me. And they put the people they love before themselves. And it's kind of heartbreaking because neither of them did anything wrong. It's just that Robert and Giselle were a better fit. Though it wound up not being too heartbreaking because they wind up with each other, which is really great. As much as I was rooting for Giselle and Robert, I knew they were definitely going to happen. And I was going to be very sad for Edward and Nancy. So even though I guessed that Edward and Nancy might be together at the end, it still was a decent surprise that they actually wound up together. And it made me emotional a little bit. So yeah, I uh, really love this movie. But I also don't know where they could go in a sequel. I, it's just, I assume it's featuring the same characters, but I don't know. The main draw of this first film was the clashing of the worlds and Giselle and Edward not understanding the real world. So how much of that can there be after years and years? Uh, it's been 15 years since this movie came out, and are we going to go back to Edward and Nancy somehow in Andalasia? That would be really interesting. 
Uh, Nancy didn't have that big a role, but James Marsden is just so much, and I kind of enjoy that, so hopefully we get to see that in the future. Uh, looking forward to that at the end of the year. Gonna give this movie a 9.5, though. Unexpectedly joyous and heartfelt. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, full reaction is gonna be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps the channel. I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye, friends.